I'll leave these two alone for now, because uh, I want to wait until after I've uh, rolled for uh, Proto Arthur and uh, Ku Alter, so that I can choose what whatever seed that I haven't gotten yet. Anyways, welcome back. Computer decided to crash on me. That's what I meant when I said uh, my computer's dying. So now, now you know what's going on. Unfortunately, that does mean that I have to, uh, I have to stop streaming Azure Lane. But oh well. <clears throat> Anyways, leave that alone for now. Let's see. So yeah, there's Caldea Boys Collection. There's last year's Caldea Boys Collection. If we get pretty lucky, which I'm not assuming at all, <laughs> if we get pretty lucky on the Proto Arthur banner, uh, I will actually try to round out uh, Amakusa because my current my Amakusa is MP3 currently. But uh, he, uh, I would like to get him to MP5. So if I can get him to MP5 now, uh, that means that I don't have to worry about having to MP5 him with next year's uh, APOC banner. Which would be really good for me personally. But will that ever will that happen? Probably not, because I would assume that uh, I get Kual to like fucking MP5 within like 600 courts, and then pull another two Mak uh, Makasa copies within like another 900. So is that ever gonna is that gonna happen? Uh, most likely not. But uh, best case scenario, no no harm in talking about best case scenarios. But in any case, we're not going to roll now because uh, I, I want to wait until the, um, the uh, what is it, Kualter shared rate up. So I get to roll both of them at the same time. Your stream, your Steam says not rolling tonight, lol. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> what part of that did you think uh, Did you think I was rolling? Well, I can't, I, I can't say, guys, I'm not rolling and I can't go to the, uh, the, the banner screen. Well, I can't talk. I can't. I can't at least uh, talk about what's on. What's on radar? My bad, dude. Sorry. I, I didn't. I wasn't aware that. Uh, I, I wasn't aware that if you can, if you say you're not rolling for a banner, you can't go on the gotcha screen. My bad, dude. What would you guys recommend from last year's ticket? Anything with the 50% battery. Hey, Kappa. Nah, just look up the uh, the C's and see what you want. Look it up on the wiki and uh, read up on their uh, read up on their uh, effects and choose wisely. Misleading title, ban this streamer for false advertisement. Ban this streamer. Fake news. Fake news. Oh, blood and a, uh, a tear. Oh, interesting. And someone explained to me why Amox is so highly rated in JV right now. Well, his MP is fucking, uh, is, uh, fucking crazy. There's that.
Kiara has a MP main effect in a, in a six turn uh, skill Omega lull. Sometimes it's better having a, uh, an effect on an MP because if you have a dedicated arts team, you get your MP back faster than you get a skill back. So uh, if you were to put both Kiara and uh, and Amakusa on like a same uh, on like the same dedicated arts team, um, well, Amakusa technically should be uh, using that effect much more often compared to Kiara. Of course, I haven't I haven't bothered putting a uh, Amakusa in an actual arts team before, so I can't really speak uh, definitively on that, but. In my experience, uh, getting your MP back is much easier than getting your skills back. So there's that. We're gonna use Moriarty for farming, try to keep a, an eye on uh, Operation uh, Fiana, will do. See what it does. Not all CQs rely on that. That's true, but there are cer certain uh, there are certain CQs where uh, having an Amakusa would be extremely handy. Might be able to run baptism right more uh, more than once, probably. <laughs> Teach is a super cool servant. I mean, he's very useful. He's got he's got tons of utility. Well, I wouldn't say tons, but he's got he's got a little bit. Kualter is in story, so no rush. Yeah, but being story locked is almost as bad as being limited. <laughs> the only difference between a limited and a story a story locked is that when when uh, banners like Caldea Boy shows up, where it includes story locked, uh, it includes all the quote unquote permanent uh, SSRs on raid up. The story locked are, are a part of it because they're considered permanent because you can technically roll for them at any time on story banner. Do you want to roll story banner though? I didn't think so. Unless you're one of those luck sacks who uh, pulls what they want from fucking story banner of all places. I, on the other hand, don't know what that feels like. Haha. <laughs> Kualter and Maeve banner, that's what I meant. Which ones? Are you talking about their debut banners? Because Kualter uh, has never had a solo raid up banner after his own debut banner. At least I'm pretty sure that's I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Maeve gets a couple. So at least she's got that going for her. But not Kualter. Have I gotten anyone from uh, USO's uh, Ilya to get her to MP5? Roll on story. Want to have uh, Tomo? Gave me Anderson. False. <laughs> You're just memeing. Nice meme, bro. Nice memes, bro. How do you useful do you think versus is? From what I've been able, from what I've been told, versus is only a timed effect, right? You literally only have it for three for three turns. So honestly, I feel like the uh, the fondant 
uh, C that you got from last Valentine's is probably better. Because at least that's a permanent 20% 20, 20 uh, anti-divine uh, buff. When it's learn broken, I think, right? If Versus is literally only for three turns, it's like, well, <laughs> better make the most of three turns and it's pretty much useless. <laughs> I already say Maeve. Maeve. I call her Meb sometimes. I, th I believe the pr proper pronunciation is Maeve. Not that I care. Not I used to be a stickler for pro uh, proper pronunciation, and then I grew a pair, and I stopped. I, I stopped caring, or I stopped giving a fuck. Smell a teach? Yeah, you can smell his degeneracy from across the screen, can't you? Confirmed luck sack. Story locked often feels worse because they get they rarely get solo rate ups. That's the th yeah that's that's what I'm saying. Cool Alter's a perfect example. He he hasn't had a a, a solo rate up ever since his debut one, and so far he hasn't had one in JP. So Pfft. he only ever gets shared from now on. That's pretty much the the best you'll ever get. I mean, I guess if you were to whale enough, you could technically pick him up from a with a use by using USOs, but obviously not everyone can do that. <laughs> Stickler from pronunciations is why you subbed. I mean, I'll 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 be anal about it just for just for memes, but. Nowadays, it's like, whatever. Pronounce it however, however way you like. He had a raid up last year in JP. Yeah, but was it solo? If it's solo, now you got my attention. If it's not, Resident Sleeper. Waiting on a specific uh, Arthur raid up? Yeah, the one with Ku Alter. Which one's the best for uh, free-to-plays? Didn't you ask me this before, Miu? I remember talking about this quite a bit, but I still think it's Girls Frontline. Ketz has a solo coming up in May as part of a milestone download, yes. She'll also get another one, uh. I forget. It's not this year, but next year's Christmas. Because, uh, you know, Samba, uh, Ketz, and all that. Yeah, exactly. He it's another shared with uh with Arthur uh for next year, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Actually, is decent for free to play also. I mean, me saying Girls Frontline being the being the most free to play uh, free to play friendly in my opinion does not mean Agile is not is uh, somehow not free to play friendly too. Agile is incredibly free to play friendly as well. Like those just because I say one is the most fr uh, free to play friendly doesn't mean another one can't can't be free to play friendly for some reason. No, that's not what I'm saying. Yes, Azure Lane is free to play too. But the question to me was that that I was asked was which mobile which gacha game do you think is most free to play? And I said Girls Frontline because I only play three, so I have to choose from those three that I because I because I know them. Is Ku Alter the only story locked who doesn't get solo rate ups? There might be another one. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if you count like the recent ones in JP, then fucking uh, Sith and I. <laughs> but she was recent, so I'll give. Oh, so we'll cut her some slack. Plus, she's a girl, so you know. You can 
tell chat that you're about to reach 100% collection uh, in Azure Land while being free to play. Yeah, well, that that maybe you should also put a with you should put a thick ass asterisk at the end of day as saying that you wailed on JP. I think that's what you told me before, right? That you wailed on uh, JP Azure Lane. How do you get more uh, free to play than uh, than uh, Azure Lane's 20 or 30 free roll free rolls a week? Well, in Girls Frontline, if you uh, if you stock up on logistics hardcore, which you can do and you should be able to, um, even as a free to play, uh, once you get once you unlock once you get a good a good account base going, and once you unlock uh, the higher story chapters that unlock the better uh, the better logistics missions. Then you can stockpile an unreal amount of uh, resources, and you can blow it all on uh, on fucking. Uh, you can blow it all on uh, on crafting, on construction. As a, I'm, and when it comes to resources and shit like that, I'm free to play in both Azure Lane and uh, and Girls Frontline. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, you can e very easily blow through uh, your entire inventory of like coins and uh, and wisdom cubes uh, in Azure Lane in just like one or two uh, ten rolls, one, two, maybe three, uh, depending on how many you have. Assuming like uh, because for me, I roll on every limited banner that shows up on Azure Lane because you know the game's pretty fucking free to play friendly, so uh, I get to roll on every banner that I want pretty safely and uh, have a reasonable chance of getting everything that I want and still have still be able to keep uh, continue saving up for the next limited, right? Um, but that being said, I can only do that. Uh, like in one day, like let's say for example, I max stocked on coins and uh, and wisdom cubes. Let's say for example, I've got a hundred wisdom cubes and I've got max coins. Uh, currently, my my account, uh, I ha I can hold up to what 55k coins at a time. Uh, so when a limited banner comes out after maintenance, I roll on that, but I can only roll on it maybe like two and a half times because each multi-roll or uh, each 10 roll on Azure Lane is what 20k coins right because each roll on the limited one is uh is fucking what's what is it 1500 so wait 1500 no that'd be like fucking 30k coins isn't it 20k 30k I can't math right now you do the math but um I can whatever the whatever the price is, the overall price is uh you I can only do that like once twice uh, a day and I had to restock on coins again to go to have added again. Girls Frontline, you 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 stock up uh, properly. You get to literally roll until your contracts run out. Like just the other week, uh, last week? Question mark? Or technically, it was this week. It was either this week or last week. But uh, who was it? Uh, Girls Frontline had an exclusive. Uh, Tdol rate up uh, just for the NA server. In other words, uh, the NA girls frontline for our for the North American server, we got a uh, an exclusive character that isn't in other any of the other servers yet. And uh, this time it happens to be a very good exclusive by the name of M200. Um, she is considered probably to be probably the best exclusive Tdol out of all the servers in the game. And uh, I had 450 contracts ready to go for her, and over 200k resources for each uh, for uh, on each tab and each tab. And it took me literally an hour to burn through all of that. Uh, I don't need that skill. I've actually, Anki has all his buffs already, so you get to let it rip. So that's why I give the edge of uh, of you know oh which game is more free to play friendly I give the edge to Girls Frontline because it is possible for you to sit there and keep rolling for like for an hour just like a whale just because you uh, just off free to play stuff of course if you're a whale that helps too but whereas in Azure Lane 
uh, they have so many rated banners uh, that even with their generous uh, handouts of giving you a lot of wisdom cubes and a lot of coins at the, uh, at once, or you know over time by doing weeklies and dailies and shit like that, um, it's great and you can definitely roll on every banner. But you can do the same that you can also do the same with uh, with uh, girls frontline, and you can keep doing it too. That's that's where I draw the line. And it will never get Branya or the other uh, and the other Honkai characters. I mean, yeah, but eh, I'm not going to cry over what we're not gonna get. I'm just gonna be happy with what we what, what we do get. Keep in mind, I'm not a hardcore um, girls frontline or Azure lane player. The only hardcore that I can claim to be is an FGO. That's it. So I don't care about what we don't get in in either of those games. So it doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying, from from my perspective, I think Girls Frontline is more uh, more is more free to play friendly uh, uh, overall than uh, Azure Lane is. Ow. Ooh, cool alter uh, solo raid. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, he does get another one. Okay, this was a very recent one though, so that's why I didn't. Uh, that's why I didn't pick up on it. Yeah, this is a super recent one. I recognize this banner actually. Yeah, I, I remember uh, reading this one when, when it came out. I, I was I was more paying attention to the uh, the strengthening quests more than the uh, the raid up itself because I was like, uh, eh, raid up, whatever, fuck it. Okay, so he does actually does uh, get he actually does get another solar raid. Thank fucking god. But again, that's like a year and a half out from now, so still gonna be waiting for that for uh, waiting for a while. <sighs> Denver dailies have a secret appearance rate. You've been farming for a while and been getting mostly assassin embers. Not really. The spawn rates uh, are pretty random. Technically, they should be half and half, but obviously RNG spawns and all that, so. Don't worry. If uh, don't worry about it though, uh, I've I've uh, farmed embers enough uh, enough to know that sometimes uh, you can get kind of unlucky and get a lot of runs where you just get uh, a lot of XP cards of one one class in particular. I know that feeling. It happens sometimes. Hey, Elia, welcome back. I think Miu's here. In case you missed it, you don't wail on Azure Lane JP. Told you didn't wail. You said I was uh I was lying. Never pay never pay for cubes. Then I must have missed her. I thought I thought uh, I remember you telling me that you wailed on uh, Azure Lane at some point. Either way, you still play JP, so you know you know how the game works. So eh. Whereas me, I don't know how the game works still. I just kinda play because I because I think the game is pretty fun and waifu's lol. So to me, the fact that you already played JP Azure Lane for for you know however long that you have tells me that you're way more experienced. You know what you you know exactly what you're doing. So obviously someone armed with that kind of knowledge uh, has the upper hand in you know being able to you know say oh I have a hundred percent I have almost all the characters in the game. So I think my point still stands. All right, uh, uh, Arcos. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. No, I haven't tried Dragalia Lost. I only play Azure Lane, Girls Frontline, and FGO. That's it. I don't want to. I don't want to involve any more gacha games because by that point, I would literally have no time to myself. Convinced phone to a uh, PC streaming is strange uh, wizardry. It's not that complicated. You just gotta know which programs to use. For example, I use SiteSync. 
uh, with my Samsung S8 Galaxy because Samsung because SightSync is a, is a mirroring program that works exclusively with uh, with Samsung devices, and you, and it works and, and you get you can get it for free, and the quality is is all right. You get better, but it's all right for being free. Actually, you only have to wait for cubes to get pretty unlucky. Hey, man, I've been trying for Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield is the only is the only boat that I haven't gotten uh, off this current limited uh, so far. I've gotten everybody else. I've gotten all the copies of series that I ever need. I, I literally don't have to p uh, spend any uh, gold boolins on her. That's how many I got. Um, I've only ever gotten Victorious once, and I have never gotten Sheffield. So I'm I'm pretty much gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, Sheffield. Cause I already got all. I already got both the SSRs, so whatever. If I cared about getting every, uh, getting a Sheffield, then yeah, I probably would be resorting to whaling. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna start whaling for uh, wisdom cubes and resources. So it's like whatever. You you meant 100% collection and JP. Do you don't have an EN account? <laughs> My point is, free to play. I still reached a, uh, still reached a hundred percent, or you're about to. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, if that's your point. Then I guess, I guess, I guess the conversa conversation ends there, right? For being free to play friendly. But uh, I still think Girls for Online is, is uh, more free to play friendly. Could have been double pages, but uh, the game continues to spook me with uh, caster cookie drops. Fuck you, game. Recommend CEs you get from the free CEs from uh, CBC. I hear Teacher and I is pretty good. I remember picking up Teacher and I uh, with my own free ticket from last year. Uh, I believe that's because Teacher and I was like the only CE that I didn't get from whaling on the on on um, on the uh, Amakusa banner from last year. But I hear Teacher and I is pretty good. For this year, uh, definitely, if you're not gonna whale on uh, on any of the uh, the Caldea boys uh, banners, definitely go for. Uh, the uh, the hot sand sea that's a very good sea. Go through all the seas anyway and look them up for yourself. See which one you uh, which one intrigues you the most. But as of right now, maybe teacher and I, and uh, for last year and uh, uh, hot sands for this year. Phones are paying, uh, paying the ass. Yeah, it's true. I had to do a little bit of a, a bit of a troubleshooting to figure out how uh, how I could stream from my phone to uh, uh, how to mirror my phone to my PC so I could actually uh, stream, you know, mobile games from it. I was doing a little bit of that earlier, but then my computer crashed because I don't think my computer likes uh, uh, having to stream both uh, my PC, my uh, my tablet, and my phone at the same time. So currently, I have my. Uh, I have my phone off for the time being, or my phone streaming uh, disabled for the time being. Hot Sands is better than Outrage. It, aren't they? Aren't they like the? Aren't they like pretty similar? Or no, Outrage is one a uh, one turn uh, targeting, right? Eh. If you want one, if you want to target, if you want to taunt C, you might as well wait until uh until fucking the Gouda rerun. The, the, yeah, the Gouda rerun, so that you can get uh, Poster Girl. Poster Girl is a fucking broken ass CE. If there's one Honako rant that I that I learned the most from, it's it's whenever he rants about how broken uh, Poster Girl is. Yeah, hey, S4, what's going on, man? 
that Lartaria emote that Kedroth has is is fucking amazing. It's emo it's emotes like that that make me wish I, w I were a uh, a partner to, uh, or an affiliated uh, Twitch streamer so I could have my own emotes. Don't know if that's ever going to happen though. <laughs> Why is Poster Girl good? It's a three turn taunt that uh, is pure, that also gives you a 60% um, a attack boost for three turns. It's pretty insane for what it's meant to do. Is an outrage to want to go for a certain uh, sacking strats? I know Hong has talked about how good outrage is. Uh, I'm not very familiar with it myself, so just from my perspective, they seem to be. Uh, these are rather uh, specific strategies that he's trying to go for here. But hey, if you if you know if you understand the uh, the uh, you know the logic behind trying to grow for outrage, sure, go ahead. If you feel like it's going to be worth it, Rolf. Generally, whatever. If you think that, oh hey, I think the CE is good, roll for it, dude. Fuck it. Fuck what everyone else says. Just go with what you think. If you think a servant or or a CE is pretty good, even if other people tell you it's not, and you're convinced, fuck it, roll for it. <laughs> Enables uh Mozart memes too. <laughs> How broken is a uh, poster girl really? You don't get why it's broken. It's mainly broken in the sense of uh, when people try doing solos. Uh, that means that when people do solo b videos, you know how you know Honako and uh, everyone else who does like those uh, those solo videos, right? I've done a few of them myself, but um, for a lot of them, uh, poster girl is an extremely powerful CE because uh, it turn like like Fino said, it turns anyone into fucking George. So uh, that means that if there's a servant out there who has a very powerful first skill, for example, Merlin with his 20% charge and a charisma, you can give him a uh, poster girl. He gives you uh, he gives your entire team free 20% charge and a charisma, and then he has poster girl on him, so he'll die first turn. And basically, you can work. You have your 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 soloer has like a, has a, has three turns to be able to work with a free twenty percent uh, charisma a charisma attack. And Merlin still dies, so you you can still call it a solo, right? Not that anyone really would really use Merlin because by that point, people would be like, "Ha, you use Merlin? Huh, what kind of solo is this, Cap?" But still, Poster Girl is really is really fucking strong. Even if you're not, if you if you even if you don't intend on uh, killing them off. That's a 60% attack buff <laughs> for three turns. I think it goes to 80 uh, when you limit break it. It's pretty insane. <laughs> of course, it's only for three turns, and after that, it's pretty useless. But, but hey, it, you, Poster Girl makes certain setups possible. It's very strong at very at the, at least, and it's broken uh, at most. What is it, Samsung? What is it that you are trying to tell me? Ah, let's just start back. Oh, it's because of skill. Yeah. Skill training's done. M200, let's get you to uh, the next uh, skill level. What skill level is she at? Uh, only three, I think. Oh, four. Okay. So, level five it is. Who's rolling for... Uh... He just kind of wants the best CE for him. <laughs> Black Grail. <laughs> Black Grail memes. Who would you choose for Calder Boys 2018? Uh, I know Teacher. I've been told Teacher and I has a 50% starting charge. Uh, starting charge effect. So obviously that's pretty good. I'm sure there are other better. Uh, I'm sure, not better, but I'm sure there are other good uh, CEs to choose from from last year, but. Uh, it's kind of hard to say no to a 50% starting charge C. <laughs> Alright, Aragon. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Gonna wait 40 seconds for that.
Come on, Lunar Break Hot Sands. I think it's a pretty good CEO just on its own, isn't it? Even if you don't Lunar Break it? Yeah, Fino plays JP. He's he's streamed uh, JP uh, FGO sometimes. Also, this is Fino's uh, Twitch channel. Go check it out. Oh, perfect. It got me up to uh, 21 AP. Cool. Solos uh, have no sense. Why do you do solos having possibility? Why you do solos having possibility for making strength? Dras, did you have an aneurysm? Because uh, your sentence needs a lot of uh, uh, grammatical revisions, to say the least. But uh, I think I'm getting what I think I'm getting the gist of what you're trying to say. People do solos just to swag, to flex, or because it's challenging, I guess. Soloing with soloing is fun, dude. I've done a few solos myself. They're fun. It's a. Uh, it's in 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 my eyes. Uh, soloing, like, solo runs offer a, a very different gameplay aspect. So it's, it's almost to the point where, uh, if you were to ask me, it's almost to the point where, uh, comparing solos to, like, actual full teams, uh, to full team strategies, uh, it's like you're playing two different games in, in, in one, if that makes any sense. Uh... Soloing and actual team team fights are uh, are very different. Very different. That's my take on it. <clears throat> if you plan on saving until uh, Arash, is there uh, is there any Merlin level game breaking servants from now on until then? Not. Particularly, no. Unless you count Scotty, but she only really breaks the game in terms of the farming meta. Not a in terms of actual, uh, uh, you know, gameplay meta. I mean, maybe you could consider uh, Tamamo's most recent uh, strengthening, uh, most, most recent buff to be pretty game-breaking. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it game-breaking, but uh, you can consider that to be pretty strong, too. Maybe. But Tomo is already out, so uh, if you're convinced already just off that, then... Not to mention Tomo gets a few raid-ups. Not too many, but she still gets a few. Uh, she, she still gets quite a, uh, a few. You're from Panama, your English is pretty... Uh, is pretty shit. I mean, you. I. I, I thought. I thought you were speaking fine. Uh, you know, uh, fine English. Uh, before. God damn, another fucking caster cookie. Uh, before when you, when you were talking before, uh, that in my in my memory, that's the first time seeing you. Uh, uh, fudging up your uh your your English to that point. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just didn't see uh the other times you sp you've spoken uh, you've uh, spoken in my chat. So I thought I thought you were you you were alright. Best ruler in the game right now. <laughs> Are you, that depends. Are you talking about NA or JP? <laughs> Tamil got a buff. Uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, they gave her another strengthening quest where her first skill. That usually only uh, drains MP charge off an enemy. Now gives the entire party a, th a thirty percent MP buff for three turns, except for herself. But that doesn't matter. So yeah, her first skill is now absolutely bonkers. So that's a thing. Right, soloing is a nice challenge. Mainly, it's mainly uh, to see how far a servant can go. Uh, how you soloing just pushes a servant's uh, abilities to the fucking limit. It's a different set of challenges altogether, because there are advantages in running solos over team fights, though they're not many.
Proto Arthur skill set MP. I would take, uh, let's just put it this way, I would take a uh, Saba skill set over his. And then, uh, and uh, you know how I feel about uh, Saba's skill set. You missed out on Kuro, you're sad. Hey man, <laughs> I mean, the good news is that she will come back. The bad news is that you're waiting, you're gonna have to wait for two years for her to come back. <laughs> Your boy Arthur got done dirty. I mean, I wish he were better too, but as it stands, he ain't that great. He honestly ain't, gra ain't that great. <laughs> nice. I'm more sad with hope. <laughs> I mean, better, better with the no, better knowing that she does come back eventually than knowing that she, not knowing when she'll ever come back. I guess. If, uh, if you want to put it that way. We're getting a four-star ticket this year for the 10 million uh, download campaign. They've given it to us before, twice before, in fact, so I guess. Strong possibility. Who do you choose for four-star ticket now that you got Salter finally? I don't know. Who, do you, who else do you like? Which of these though, should I pick for the event? Hot Sands or a Teacher and a... IMO. <sighs> Again, though, please make sure to uh, look through um, to uh, look through those CEs uh, first and uh, see uh, which ones you want. Uh, yeah, Fino, you, know, you said you were you. Uh, I heard you on stream. Uh, I think sometime over the weekend, I believe, that you were going to, uh, I think when you were rolling from Moriarty, that, uh, you were planning to just, uh, uh, grab Lalter off, uh, off the force of the, the ticket. Definitely heard that one. Tama Caster deserved a buff to her skills? Not really. Honestly, not really. <laughs> And that's, this is coming from the guy who, who considers Tamamo waifu. She didn't need a buff. <laughs> her first skill did not need a buff. When I first found out she got a buff to her first skill, that fucking surprised the hell out of me. Like, why? And I thought about it, I was like, eh, I guess DW's trying to, uh, trying to equalize, uh, the, all, all three of the teams, I guess. I guess. It's not like, the, it's not like Arch teams were in a bad spot before. Far from it. The whole point of arts teams is is so that you can play it play out uh, fights slow, uh, slow but steady, because arts teams are very consistent. That's the whole that's their whole selling point. They're very consistent, and uh, if played properly, they're very hard to take down. Whereas Buster memes are, they do a lot of damage, but you know, might be a little bit flimsy here and there. And the quick memes were <laughs> memes. But now that with, now that Scotty's shown up, it's not like Scotty breaks the game like Merlin can. But as far as farming goes, oh yeah, she, Scotty's now fucking the fucking meta. So Quick has a place now as farmers, which is better than better than just being a, a silly old meme. So Quick for farmers, uh, Quick for farming, Buster's for you know <laughs> damage lull, um, and uh, what was it? And then Arts team just for consistency. So I my 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 thinking is that they probably buffed Tamo just so that uh just so that you know they felt like all three of the teams could be, you know, I guess a little bit more in line with each other. I don't know. Like there now there's a reason to run all three. As opposed to like maybe a year ago where, you know, maybe there wasn't much of a reason to run one team over the other. IMO 
but that's just me uh, speaking as an NA pleb who doesn't who's never played JP. So don't don't take my word as the uh, as the gospel here. Hey, look, another page. Waiver skill upgrade when? Oh yeah, let's just let's just put him from the SS rank to the fucking SSS rank. <laughs> Why aren't there any bronze sabers? I've been told that due to quote unquote lore reasons, there can't be any sabers that are less than silver rarity. I think that's bullshit personally. Because that means that there are no bronze saber, there are no very easily, uh, easily acquired, aqua, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what the word is, but um, that means that there are no very easily attainable um, sabers in the game that you can just pull straight off friend points and not have to rely on fucking uh, RNG to pull three stars off, uh, off what is it, friend points. Oh well, though. That's uh, that's DW de uh, DW's decision though, because sabers are the strongest class. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this whole uh, us being able to summon fucking former beasts as uh, servants. I'm looking at you, Kiara. Oh, we can't have silver sabers, but we can have uh, we can have alter egos who used to be beasts. That's fine. Oh yeah, sure. No problem with that. What's that? It makes us money? Alright, it's le it's legit then. We'll, we'll just make some bullshit excuse so that we can make money. A. Bet he's a monster, but he's a uh, story lock, unfortunately. But, if you roll on this banner, and you roll sabers, you might roll Bedivere. Because he's, uh, all the story locked are, are part of this banner as well. Because it's literally all the permanent guys. Been playing for several months, and all I have is uh one uh one uh saber gills. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. All the all the quote unquote free to play sabers are all silver or all three stars. So unless you get incredibly lucky, uh, or unless you've been playing for a, a long time and you rolled friend points every single day, uh, chances are you're probably not gonna have too many sabers. At least not not a lot of like quote unquote free to play sabers, you know. Lore be damned, let's make money. Yep. Aye aye, Captain. Let's make that cash. Hyper whale. I'm farming the uh the library node. What the hell is this node even called? It's the uh it's the rightmost node on Shinjuku. The one where you fight the spell books and the uh, the, the the gazer at the end. I'm farming for pages here because uh there's apparently a thirty percent um drop rate for pages on this node. This Rainbow Town node. Shinjuku Tukom. Kome Kome? I don't know how you pronounce that. I honestly think that uh, there should be silver uh, silver sabers. Or not silver sabers. Of course we have them. I think there should be bronze sabers. I feel like there should be bronze servants of every class. And I believe sabers the only one who doesn't. We have uh we ha I believe we have uh bronze servants of ever bronze servants in every other uh class category. Like at least out of the the, the core seven, right? And sabers the only one that doesn't have any. Does ruler sh uh, does Sherlock need MP2 or MP1? What's his uh, MP char? What's his MP effect, and how does it scale? One star ruler when? I mean, they're getting closer to it because uh, we have a th we have a three star Avenger in the game, so that's a thing. Oh god. Saber Lily Lily. The fucking the fucking horror. Fergus is okay. I think I think Fergus is great. Personally. I think he's very good. Because if 
if you're running like a budget team setup, uh, team setup, and uh, you have Fergus as your anchor, uh, he surprisingly he lasts for a very long time, and he's got a triple Buster deck, and he's a he's only a three star. So uh, if you have him as anchor, and uh, and you're, the boss or whoever you're fighting against only has a little bit of a, a little bit of HP left, uh, Fergus can just pop his uh, his attack buff, his defense buff. He has an evade to fall back on uh, if he's in trouble, and uh, he can just keep doing Buster break chains all day. And just fucking smack, uh, smack bitches left and right. He's very. He, I think Fergus is very strong, personally. He's got drawbacks, of course, but uh, for what he is, I think he's very strong. <laughs> just tap those red cards all day, baby. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> buster, 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 pow. Yeah, that's right. We've always had Avenger, right? <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> He's such a meme. Just go watch uh, Honako's uh, Honako throwing a Fergus at uh, Lar at, uh, Lartoria. Yeah, exactly. Fergus Fergus shreds through uh, Lancer bosses. Fergus busting on girls. That's what he does. Flex on him. What MP level is your Betty? Two. I ha he's the only silver uh, servant that I have who's not MP5. <clears throat> Partly because he's so fucking hard to roll. Antonio, when? Uh, we gotta wait another year for him. Imagine Fergus with a single target MP. That's that's a that's a, that's a Monka S from me from me, my dude. That's a Monka S. No, but seriously, Fergus with a single target MP would be insane. As it is, though, he has an AOE. And I'm kind of glad he, that he does have an AOE MP. <laughs> Jaguar Man is MP5. Yes, Jaguar Man. Tyga has has already had. Uh, quite a few rate ups that I've already rolled down, uh, rolled on. Bedivere, on the other hand, eh. like Bedivere's only rate ups have been uh, Camelot Singularity Bait Banners. That's it. Hard to roll for a whale, yeah, for a whale who doesn't want to fucking uh, throw quartz around like it fucking grows on trees. I wish I could do that. Can't though. Sorry for giving you a a, a reality check. Not all whales uh, can just throw money around like it's like it's their fucking job, because it's not. What three star skill uh, servant skill needs a buff? Uh, how about all of them? I'm just kidding. I just I just don't know what to say at uh. I just don't know what to uh, pinpoint right now. I can just actually get rid of Discord. There we go. Hey, another page. I swear, this node drops me a ton of blood. Like, I, I think, just farming this node, I think I'll be good on blood for the rest of this year and the next. And we already got a ton of bloodstone tears from, from all the event shops this year, too. Like, 120. I wish rolling was my job. Yes, yeah, same here. It ain't, though. I have to pay to get salty. The ultimate wombo combo. Pain is about Hans uh, becoming Merlin. How does he become Merlin? Are you are you referring to uh, his last strengthening quest that he got? That doesn't turn him into Merlin per se, but I forgot what I even did. <laughs> it's been a while.
and be too a uh, bit of her fake whale. <laughs> yeah, show me your account. Uh, show me your show me your account, buddy. Buddy. If it if not all your servants are MP5, I'm not impressed. If your skill levels are trash, I'm not impressed. If you don't have at least 50 by max bonsies, I'm not impressed. Let's see it, buddy. Female Merlin would be nice. She exists. Yeah, this is page farm. Just uh, just trying to farm uh, some pages for uh, Dapper Ol Moriarty. Moriarty. I am so unimpressive. Then don't take what I'm saying seriously. I'm just memeing. I'm just I'm just fucking around with this guy on uh on my Twitch and my Twitch chat who says uh who told me uh MP2 Petty fake whale. Moriarty. Also a man of culture and crime. I've got to say, sometimes, sometimes I feel like uh, I share a little bit of uh, Moriarty's uh, psyche when it comes to uh, human psychology. Sometimes, but that's probably stretching it. I'm just annoyed at seeing a Moriarty skills at five four four. So I decided, you know what? I'm, I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to. Uh, Degen myself up to level 140 at some point anyway, so I might as well f start farming free quests. So now I am. Gonna miss half AP embers. Oh yeah, that's right. Half AP embers are going on right now. I should probably get in on that because I need to. I still need to level up. Uh, I still need to level up. Who is it? Lobo and Doge and uh, Mr. Fister. I'll do that after. How many more pages do I need? I'll do that after six more page drops, and hopefully that shouldn't take too long. Well, I say that, and before it takes me another fucking hour to get six page drops. Am I a good caster? Uh, Reddit doesn't think you are, but I think you are. Smile. Honestly, pretty decent. He'd be great if uh, if he didn't have to deal with the fucking RNG on his uh, on his MP on on his MP effects. That's what they should buff. Stop buffing his fucking skills. His, his skills were already good enough on their own. Just buff his fucking MP so that all his effects are, are guaranteed. Oh no, but that would be too strong. You, we can't have free-to-play servants be too strong, right? We're gonna go broke if we make bronze servants too strong. DW, probably. You're in hate, uh, page hell too. I voluntarily put myself in page hell after what all after the shenanigans that I pulled with the uh, with MP6 Merlin. Mistakes were fucking made. Regrets though, not 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 so much. That was still hilarious what I did. Remove its demerit. I guess that's fine. That demerit can, can get him killed sometimes. If he gets focus fired. How hysterical would it be if DW made Muramasa? Uh, if they pulled a, a mango on uh, with uh, Muramasa? <laughs> hey, here's your uh, he's your Shiro Saber. Uh, he's your Shiro uh, serve y'all wanted. Have fun with front point rolling. <laughs> That's why Ozzy and now in JP uh, Miu is great for him. Yeah, of course. If you if you pair him up with other people who uh, give him a buff success chance uh, increase, a buff success or success 
chance buffs, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, if you pair him with any of that, then yeah, of course he's great. But that means you have to commit. Uh, you already have to commit a uh, a uh, servant to him, which means you can't take. You only have one one more servant that you can you can choose to take with you. And obviously, being able to choose two servants of your liking rather than just one is, uh, you know, kind of a big difference. <sighs> buff on uh, Deon. She could use a buff, sure. Not like there's a real point in using her right now. She is fun to play with, though. If you are interested at all in uh, using her as a, a stall arts, as a stall art support, I guess. You excited for the Babylonia anime? Sure, I'll give it a shot, or I'll I'll give it a watch. There's one more page. Just need five more. Why did the song go all fucking dubstepy after right after it was it had such a good build up? The fuck? Favorite Fate series, uh, anime-wise? Um... Probably gonna have to go with Fate Zero. Because it has the three things that I really like, that I really like, uh, in anime. Guns, blood, and despair. Hey, there's another page. I'm a Danganronpa fan. Uh... Fun fact: I've never, I've never played any of the Danganronpa games. I've never watched any of the Danganronpa anime. They gave Bayo a better version of Lancer Alters End of the World. People think that it's a better version of her skill. They're the same. It's they're essentially the same thing. You know why it's better though, right? Or you know why it's quote unquote better, right? It's because Bayo is a berserker. If they gave him, if they gave him Lalter's skill and that was the end of it, uh, that would be fucking useless on Bayo because he's a berserker. He has shit star gain or star star weight. So what's what's Lalter's star star pull? Like three hundred? Let's say it's like three hundred to six hundred percent, right? That ain't gonna do shit on Bayo because that that you you can't do that on a berserker because that would be a wasted effect. Because Oh, you increase a, a, a Berserker star weight by 300 to 600%? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big fucking deal. Yeah, you took you took Beowulf's fucking 9 or however much star weight that he has. 9 star weight and raise it to like uh, multiply it by 6 and he gets 54. And it's still lower than most casters. Like, big, good fucking job. What did you accomplish here? Absolutely nothing. They had to give him a 5,000% uh, star weight buff so that he can actually make use of his own fucking skill. 
That's why if you look at Raikos and uh, and uh, Berserker Lot's uh, star star uh, weight skills, that's why they scale so hard from 3k to 6k percent because they need it in order to get in order to make any use of it. Same goes for Beowulf. That's why it's stronger. So in essence, it's not really stronger. They, it's only stronger because the Berserkers need it. <clears throat> Which CEs should you take? Uh, for last year's uh, Teacher and I, because it's a 50% starting charge CE, and for this year, uh, Hot Sands, because it's a very good CE. Read through all the CEs and look uh, see, uh, look at what you want for yourself though first. If you can't, if you really can't decide, then just go with those two because uh, because uh, someone on YouTube told you to. Beowulf is not good. Uh, I disagree. He has his uses, and in fact, uh, I believe I've heard. I, I believe I've been told that out of all the single target four star berserkers, uh, Beowulf should be one of the most uh, should be one of the hardest hitting. So he's definitely not bad. Probably you could you could argue niche, sure that's fine, but uh, the amount the amount the amount of potential damage Beowulf can get out is not something you can just ignore. IMO. Uh, cannot acquire more servants. Please free up your servants. Oh God. I guess we're doing this, huh? Where's Yanqing? I don't think I have Yanqing to max level yet. Yeah, he's right here. Actually, I'm gonna filter everything by XP. Actually, I'll just do that. So I don't have to deal with the uh, foes. <clears throat> There's no reason for me to burn these uh, bronze embers. I'm not really gonna get much out of them anyway, so I might as well just use them as actual a XP. Who uses br bronze uh, embers as a uh, as XP, right? Omega lol. Imagine having a steno. Oh yeah, Ilya. I can tell you didn't watch my uh, my one of my most recent videos on my YouTube channel, where I used a a, a steno. I, uh, David and Uriel team to uh, beat the uh, the Gawain Memorial uh, quest, and all of them survived, mind you. Pretty sure you didn't watch that video. Yeah, imagine having snow. Imagine beating Chad with it. You saw the video. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you really? Let's see. Okay, I think that's it. Right, we we'll go back to farming pages again. Now that I cleared out some of my inventory. <clears throat> I never said Steno isn't useless. Yeah, I'm not saying uh, I'm not saying uh, Ilya is bad just because. Uh, you know, oh man, Ilya must be so great because uh, I sold Go uh, Goetia with her. I'm not say saying Ilya's bad either. <laughs> what song is this? I can toss you to Link. Raiko Max Bond? Yeah, she's been Max Bond for like half a year now. <laughs> It's been Max Bond for a while. <laughs> Ilya is a bad unit. <laughs> no, she can't be a bad unit. I managed. I I soloed Galatia with Ilya. She can't be bad. Gappa. This is this is why Citronai is better. Oh God, I'm. That's gonna be another cast of cookie now, right there, isn't it? I saw that. I saw that gold box drop. It dropped from that that gold uh, that gold uh, spell book. 
which has a chance of dropping uh, the caster cookies. Here it comes. It's going to be a caster cookie, everybody. Brace your butts. Senos, these and after her buff. Her divine buff makes her, is, is is probably one of the best buffs in the game because it make it it, it dragged a useless uh servant out out of down from out of the pits of hell and actually makes her a decent a semi decent support. So not only is she really good at charm locking uh Chads, but hey, she can support somebody else who can also beat up Chads. Her sister. <laughs> What do you know? Skill synergies, or skill, or a, or a skill set synergies, whatever you want, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyways, next song. Let's see what do we want to listen to? I like how for Seno she didn't even get let her get the uh, extra twenty percent. Yeah, because they know she's not gonna do shit with it. She's got a three Q deck, and she's an assassin. What kind of damage do you think she's gonna? Be, do you think she's gonna be doing? <laughs> yeah, the extra twenty. So yeah, she gives herself a forty percent attack buff. Yeah, that's fucking useful. Somewhere in Caldea, Stano's probably pl uh, plotting, uh, plotting to become the next greatest uh, four-star servant. Collaborating with Moriarty with her, uh, with her evil uh, breakout plan. I'm going to have DW uh, let me, let me double buff myself. It'll be the best thing ever. I'll be the next hot four star shit. <laughs> Not refilling until uh, events. Uh, right now, we all want to go up to... Right now, we have uh, our max level cap increased up to uh, 140. That and uh, I want... I am kind. I was kind of sick and tired of using Moriarty with uh, with uh, under-leveled skills. So I was like, fuck it. Let me, uh, let me uh, start rolling. Let me, let me start re refilling for, uh, for both materials and uh, master, uh, master missions. Or not, sorry, not master missions, sorry. Uh, master XP. I didn't say I wasn't. Uh, I I did I, even though I did say uh, I wasn't planning on refilling. I didn't say I never would. I'm pretty sure I only said I don't plan to. But if you know, I might if something uh, something does come up. And the combination of hey, we we can now level up to level, uh, master level 140 now. Hey, look, my Moriarty is only level skill levels 444. Maybe I should do something about that. Because uh, it turns out uh, having an SSR uh, single target archer with a buster MP is actually pretty nice. When's the waiver, been, uh, waiver banner uh, in Caldea Boys tomorrow? Come back tomorrow and he should be on radar. Isn't he AOE? Who? Mor Moriarty? No, he's single target. 
I know the fact that he likes spamming missiles and fucking uh, fucking bullets makes him look like he's AoE, but no, he's single target. <clears throat> Moriarty is not needed because Gil and Tesla are a thing. Oh, really? Does Gil have a 50% battery? I know Tesla does, but does Gil? Oh, and uh, let me know when Tesla gets a guaranteed MP, MP uh, damage buff. Come back to me when he gets that. Moriarty. <clears throat> the battery really situational though, lol. Yeah, there's a good way to fix that and it's called... 20 crit stars. Easy. Gil and Tesla do single target damage to uh, multiple targets. Yeah, what if you're fighting just regular mobs? I'm looking at this, Imad, I'm looking at this from a farmer's perspective. Gil's MP takes fucking three years to finish. Tesla's uh, MP damage buff only has an 80% chance of going off, so you're not always going to get it. <clears throat> and as a farmer, having RNG in your skills is the worst shit ever. Or one of the worst things that you have to deal with. Because that means that you can't have reliable uh, one shots if you have to uh, if you have to rely on, you know, RNG buffs like that. So that fucking sucks. So yeah, they can do single target damage. Not all the time though. 80% chance is still a high chance. Uh, Imad, you haven't played this game uh, uh, enough then if you uh, think that 80% is still... Oh, that's still a high enough chance. Yeah, yeah, technically it is. It's a 4 out of 5 chance that uh, you're going to hit the uh, hit the buff. <laughs> what if you don't, though? 20% is still a very big chance that you can fail something. The reason why I lord Ozzy's uh, fucking third skill, the one that increases uh, the buff chance of the RNG skills, is that I ha I I hit the what is it? let's see Ozzy before I lord it, Ozzy was at obviously level nine, right? At level nine, his uh, protection from raw skill gives him uh, gives the whole team what was it ninety eight percent chance of a uh, of their uh, of their RNG buffs going off. Or su technically succeeding, I had one day when I was farming with them. I had, uh, I had one stretch of time where Ozzy failed his failed his uh his IP buffs three times in a row. So I hit a two percent chance three times in a row. So if I can do that, if I can pull something like that off. I don't think I want to deal with a 20% chance of failure. Because if I can do that, uh, I can hit 20% chance three times or more in a row. I'm sorry. I don't want to, as a farmer, I don't want to deal with, uh, I don't want to deal with RNG. Because, uh, shit like Ozzy missing IP three times in a row at le with a level 9 protection or raw skill can happen, and it will. At least, that, that's what happens to me. Maybe you're lucky enough, though, where you don't have to deal with that shit. Fair enough, but... Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want RNG in my skills. Fuck off. That shit can, uh, that shit can, then can go fuck itself. Is it not 30, uh, 38%? It's, a uh, 4%? Hey, either way, still hit a 4% chance three times in a row. So, fuck that shit. Not dealing with it. That's why I do not like Tesla's, uh, uh, what is it? Why did I have all of Astolfo's cards this turn? That's why I don't like Tesla's uh, second skill. It is annoying as hell. 
He's a great farmer. I've max ba I've max banned him using a uh, using him to farm saber dailies back in the day, like last year. He's a great farmer. There's no doubt about that. But 80% chance on his second skill? Uh, uh. Sorry. Not for me, man. Beast Thunder Moon Force Star C. What does it do, Hunter? If you're farming for hours, it's pretty negligible, though. Uh, well, it depends if what kind of node you're uh, you, what kind of node you're farming. If you're farming a node where the mobs have high enough HP where you need the buff, oh man, it's the most annoying shit ever to, uh, to have to wonder. Okay, is this buff gonna go off? Oh, it didn't. Well, shit, I have to I have to think about how else I'm gonna do this. Oh, do I have to face card him? Do I have to use an extra buff? When you're farming for hours on end, I can tell you haven't uh, farmed for hours, uh, Wi Fi. If you farm for hours, you want a reliable strategy, a reliable three turn where all you need to do is just press buttons. That's it. Nobody wants to ask anybody who farm who farms FGO for hours on end if they enjoy RNG on their skills. For example, Tesla. Come back to me when you find somebody like that, because everybody that I've asked. Everybody, all the whales who who I know farms a lot, and I have close contact and I have close communications with. I asked them. I've asked them before. Uh, hey, do you like uh, RNG skills? Nope. Because trust me, uh, when you stream for six to nine or ten hours uh, in a row. Uh, doing nothing but farming crisp the Christmas node or the Nerofest node, or you're doing that shit for 10 hours in a, in a row without stopping, maybe just to go to the bathroom or some shit, uh, with the exception of those, do you want to have to think constantly think about, oh, hey, look, I should use a skill here. Oh, what if it doesn't go off? Oh, well, I guess I have to do this then. That That's going to be very tiring. That's part of the reason why I'm able to farm for so long uh, for some of these event streams because I use t teams, I use strategies where all I, I literally all I need to do just hit buttons. I don't need to think. If I don't need to think, that vastly increases my mental stamina and my ability to keep streaming uh, for literally hours on end. If I had to constantly think about what I was doing, I would more than likely not be able to last for fucking 10 hours. Or however long that I've streamed before in the past. You don't want RNG when, when you're farming. If you plan on farming for actually actual hours on end. You say, oh, how hard can it be? You want to try it, buddy? Go ahead, be my guest. You're a stronger man than I if you can deal with, uh, having, if you, if you, if you're able to, uh, patiently deal with RNG while farming for six plus hours on end. If you want to do that, sure, go ahead. Like like I said, you're a stronger man than I. I highly doubt it, though. Just saying. And before, just get a bot? <laughs> no, that not really, no. And uh, even if you do use a bot, those bots... Guarantee you, they ain't using skills uh, or serms with RNG skills. Or if they are, they're making sure that either they can circumvent the RNG or uh, they don't have to. They don't have to actually use that skill because if if, if a uh, bot uses a a serm with an RNG skill and they have to use it, uh, that means that at some point when they're farming, when the bot is farming, they're gonna fail it. And if they fail it and it screws up uh, their their farming sequence, then it can't farm properly anymore because everything's out of whack. So no, bots bots don't want to use uh, RNG either. <laughs> I don't think you know how uh, farming bots work. Outside of that, or I'm I am out of date with uh, how farming bots work. But I am fairly certain uh, the farming bots don't want to use RNG either. They're just bots. They're bots for a reason. I brought Gil and uh, Tesla up there for 100%, 50% uh, damage. Uh, which Mori already lacks. Yeah, but you're forgetting that Gil only has that bonus damage against Servants. Most of the time, when you're farming, you're not actually farming Servants. Unless it's in an event. See my point? <clears throat> so 
So sure, I guess you can use Gil uh, for, you know, saber farming. I guess. If he wanted to. I'm not saying he's bad for it. I've used Gil for farming my, uh, myself plenty of times uh, back when uh, the game first started. Because uh, he was one of the only AoE SS... Uh, he was... I'm pretty sure he was the only AoE SSR saber back at the time. Or back in the day. So... I didn't really have a choice. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. I'm just saying there are uses where Gil is better, and there are uses where Moriarty is better. Generally speaking, for general mob farming, which uh, which I'm doing right now, uh, I would prefer taking Moriarty because 50% uh, battery, fewer buttons, fewer uh, less less uh, less shit that I have to deal with. That being said, Moriarty's MP length is pretty long too. That's for sure. Okay, that's loud. At least for me, anyway. Maybe generation plus 12, uh, star gem plus 12, heal 200 HP per turn. Um, that sounds like it'd be really good on a, uh, on a star gem. Like maybe, uh, or like hybrid, hybrid, uh, star gen and, uh, and MP chargers. Like, that sounds like it'd be really good on Jack. Jack, uh, who is it? Fuma, uh, maybe Lee Shubun. Maybe. But that's definitely a little bit more niche. If you want to pick it up, sure. It's not, I guess it's not bad, but. Anyways, enough arguing with uh, people in, in, in chat about why why uh, Gil is better than Moriarty in farming. For farming, Ishtar is one of the best ones and uh, uh, best ones as a five star. Oh yeah, no no fucking doubt. I was only talking about how back in the day, we're, we're talking a year and a half ago, where Gil was literally our only AoE SSR uh, archer. That Gil was the only option that we had at the time. Alright, let's get Moriarty skills up. Let's see, Void Dust. Don't need to worry about that. I believe his next one is Fluids. Yeah. So I, need to farm, I need to farm like what? 216 fl fucking fluids for him? Yeah, 216. God, that is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, 72 each. 72 times, uh, times 3. You do the math. Gil MP is like 30 seconds. It's long, but Moriarty's MP animation is pretty fucking long too. To be fair. Alright, we're done with the uh, page farming for now. Let's go farm some embers. Because I believe... Oh, we got, we got uh, Proto-Arthur's uh, trial quest, I guess. For now, though, I'm gonna, I want to farm some embers. So let's go into this. <sighs> Do that. And then these are Lancers and... Assassins. Currently, I do not have any more AoE sabers that are not banned yet, so uh, let me just resort to uh, using casters instead. Casters! Ah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I've got parry. I got. Uh, who else? I got parry. I got Kazgil. I got. Uh, I got these boy. Uh, these girlies. Hmm. Maybe I should just bring along Da Vinci. I know Paracelsus is a is a is a great ass farmer. Great ass farmer. Gotcha base. Gotcha gas. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. So uh let's see. Instead of parry, I think I'll just amuse myself with the with the DMV. 
Let's see. Use that. Place you. And then. I guess will you bring Taiga? Yeah, Taiga. You do like this. Yeah! We'll have at it. Wrong skill. Have I farmed a hearts node yet? Uh, yes. Uh, I've only done it three times and I got hearts in two of them. So I got extremely lucky. Are pages in silver or gold chests? Gold. They're always in gold. Five star Astolfa one. Is your name Gudal by any chance? Let's see. And NAOG OG Saba is better. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still pretty. I'm, uh, I'm still pretty sure that OG Saber is still better than Salter in terms of uh, overall damage output. Do I even need that skill? Probably not. Burn four hour four bars of AP for zero. Yeah, that's why I said I got extremely lucky. Again, though, I would like to reiterate that uh, I don't need to farm for hearts because I'm good on hearts for the rest of the year. At least according to my calculations, which may be wrong. Benefit of Salter over OG uh, over Saba is that it's easier to get to MP5. Yeah, but she's story locked, so you just have to wait for a you know four star for a Salter banner, which luckily there is one going on right now. But outside of that, I guess good luck. Oh, did I? I forgot to buff everybody. Ah, panic. Four stars are just as rare as five stars. Prove me wrong. Firo, go back and watch any of my gotcha rolls. OG gets a 30% battery after strengthening, yes.
Well, done with, we're done with that master mission. Mor uh, Mordred already has a 30% battery. I know she does. But once Saba gets hers, uh, she becomes the best farming sir uh, Saber in the game. Because Saba has one thing that Mordred doesn't. A charisma. So, that just makes Saba objectively better than Mordred by that point. Mordred is only better than Saba only because of the fact that she has a 30% battery and uh, Saba doesn't for now. Once Saba gets her own battery next year, um, yeah, that's when Mordred's uh, dominance ends. Farm embers or CCC? Farm both! You got time to sleep, you got time to farm. What? Look <sighs> at that. All arts cards. Mordred is still waifu tier, can't overthrow that. Eh, I'm good. Did you not get the uh, Altera C from uh, Valentine's? Oh, you're talking to Argo, aren't you? Yeah, Argo. If you uh, if you picked up uh, all five copies of the uh, the Altera C from Valentine's, you don't need the Dante C anymore. I know the Dante C has some additional effects on it, but if if you're only looking at the Dante C for a CE that gives you Invul Pierce, then why didn't you pick up the Altera C from Valentine's? Mordred fans equals uh, Chitoge fans. Hey, listen, I right? Chito Chitoge did nothing wrong. <laughs> no booly. And besides that, uh, that whole uh, Chitoge versus uh, whoever her, her other name is, uh, war is pretty fucking stupid, but. Sugami is best girl from that show anyway. Oh god. Oh boy. Now even uh now even uh Fino's joined in on it. Why does it take you only twenty AP? It takes forty for you. Are you playing NA? Are you playing JP? Or maybe you're playing a different server? Because if you're playing on NA, you should be having a half AP embers just like me. It's time for a waifu battle royale. Alright, chat. Alright, it's it's been nice knowing y'all. I gotta shut down YouTube chat for uh, for uh, for be becoming too degen. It's been nice knowing y'all. Time to crash my computer again. Playing on eight, it should be uh, half AP embers right now. If you haven't logged in, ah, then that's why. This banner hates you. Took you 500 quarts to get five copies of Hot Sands, and you didn't get a copy of Proto Arthur. Only 500? Maybe better to luck next time, though. Of 
Or are we super degen? He only just realized. I always knew you guys were degenerate. It's just times like these when you start showing it. Uh, that's when I have to. Uh, when, that's when I have to step in and be like, "All right, all right, you degens, no waifu wars." What do you mean? I just only realized. I always knew. I'm. I'm the reason why you're. De you're all fucking degenerate. You do realize that, I hope. Do you think they could buff hit counts? DW rarely buffs hit counts. They've only ever done that like once or twice. For some reason, they will never, almost never touch uh, um, hit counts. The main reason for that is because hit counts, you, you already probably already know this because you're mentioning it, but uh, hit counts is integral to how good a, a, a servant's uh, cards are in this game. Having more hits is almost always better. I, I can't think of a situation right now where having more hits is, is not better. Even on, on like Buster cards, it's better. Like there's no there's there's no uh, outcome in which uh, having a higher hitting and uh, high, higher hit count uh, card is better is is worse than uh, having a less hit count card if that makes any sense. So if DW starts altering like servant hit counts, uh. Yeah, I don't th that I feel like that's that's a line that DW just doesn't want to cross. They've done it a couple times. They, it's not like they've never done it before, but uh, in general, they just don't like doing that. From from what I've been able to gather. Do Lancer Raikos attacks? Are her attacks the same as Berserker? No, they're different. <sighs> oh, I know this song. I haven't heard listened to this remix though. Ugh. <sighs> If you mess with hit counts, yeah, exactly. Um, when you me start messing with hit counts, you ha you ha you start uh, tampering with a lot of other mechanics that are core to the game. And by this point, three three and a half years into the game, um, you can't just change core mechanics like that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, changing hit counts changes uh changes uh core mechanics and. Uh, it's much easier for DW. This applies to other games as well, but uh, it's much easier for DW to balance around the mechanics rather than actually altering the mechanics or uh, and, and then balancing from there. That's just a nightmare that no nobody wants to do. Worth farming mana prisms during half eight half embers. Uh, IMO no. It's only a five AP difference. You might as well capitalize it and uh, stock up on a uh, gold embers. You can change the core. Look at Merlin lol. That's not what I'm talking about, dude. When I talk about core mechanics, I'm talking about shit like hit counts. I'm talking about MP generation. I'm talking about um, star gen. The mechanics that nobody really pays attention to. Meta, Meta didn't, and Merlin didn't change the core gameplay. He only he only changed the meta. That's all he ever did. And yes, it's significant, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about how the meta changed. I'm talking about uh, the kind of bad shit that'll happen uh, when when the devs start messing with things like uh, MP gen, 
star gen, card hit counts. That is a lot harder to balance out than even more so than than Merlin IMO. It's easier to nerf Merlin. Just fucking sick the uh, deck the fuck out of his third skill. There's your nerf. However, when DW starts starts pulling shit like, oh, we're gonna we're going to uh, give um, random example here. We're gonna give Lee Shubin, uh like one more hit on his arts cards. Suddenly, Lee becomes uh, a considerably better uh, MP gener uh, uh, MP, or he gets considerably better at charging his own MP because he has an extra hit on his uh, on his uh, arts card. And he has two of them. Might not sound like much, but it's. <laughs> Given that this, given that this game uh, operates a lot of its core mechanics off hit counts, uh, that's a huge buff. IMO. If my understanding of of this game's mechanics is uh, any good, which I like to think that it is. Oops, forgot to, uh, forgot the buff again. Did Karna receive a buff? He's, he's gotten an MP interlude. I don't think he's gotten a skill buff before. But he has gotten a, um, uh, an MP, an, an MP buff. Didn't you just say that in my in my YouTube chat, Larking? I don't know why you you had to feel the need to uh, say it in both my chats. Could you imagine people spending hundred thousands of dollars for their servant and then they get nerfed? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck them. I wouldn't care. Go ahead, nerf Tomo, sure. That's not going to stop me from playing the game and or, um, you know, keeping her as a mawaifu. But I know that this world is full of very sensitive people who, uh, who get pissy when uh, something they really like in a game uh, gets nerfed. Sounds like uh, every, competitive, uh, every competitive video game community in the world in existence. No, I, I, I read most people's comments. Sometimes I just decide not to comment on them. Or maybe I was, uh, you know, talk, talking to someone else at the time. Answering someone else's uh, questions or talking, uh, replying to someone else's comment or whatever you want to whatever you want think that I was doing. But the difference that you is, is, a, is a gotcha. What difference does that make? I spent, uh, for example, in, uh, let's see, I was a whale in this one first-person shooter called, uh, called Combat Arms. I don't know if any of y'all any played it back in the day. Um, I spent a lot of money, I don't remember how much because it's been so long, but I spent a lot of money to, uh, get this one shotgun that was, uh, that you could only get through, like, basically supply crates. So it was basically like a, a mini gotcha. Uh, you could only buy, you could only get this weapon through supply crates, and you could only have it for a limited time, uh, with, like, maybe an exception here and there. But, um, yeah, uh, that shot, that particular shotgun, I still remember its name, it was called the Max's R870, uh, MCS Mod. A very long name. But uh, that shotgun was the best shotgun in the game at the time it came out. It was the best. No, n there was no doubt about it. It had an insane fire rate. It had insane damage because it, sh it for some reason, it just shot out a lot more pellets than normal shotguns, uh, other shotguns in the game. It was it was downright overpowered, and people paid a lot of money to 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 uh, to get that shotgun because it was so good.
And you, you could literally wreck entire uh, lobbies with it. Um, lo and behold, maybe like half a year later, they nerfed it. And it was nowhere near as good. Still good, but... And still it's still very strong, but not, not broken. So... And, and back in the day, combat arms was very popular. And a lot of people had that gun and or tried, tried that gun because you could pick up other guns off other people if they died. Or like when you killed them, or when you when they died, they dropped their main gun. If they had their if had if they had that shotgun, you could you could pick up and use it, use it use it for yourself. So a lot of people knew how strong that uh, that shotgun was, and it got nerfed. It got stealth nerfed. So I'm used to I'm used to playing games where the devs were like, oh maybe we we, we maybe we put out something uh, that was a little bit too strong. Let's nerf it a little bit and they'll uh, slip it under the rug or somewhere. I'm used to that. Now, obviously, not the not the rest of the world is, but if everyone wants to be super fucking selfish about what they want and don't want, hey, fuck it. Never forget that guitar assault rifle. <laughs> I love that gun. Love that gun. It was hilarious. I can imagine people outraging. Yeah, but they didn't quit the game because of it. Sure, they'd get mad, but they would they quit? No. I would imagine that, let's say for example, theoretically, D DW were to nerf, let, for example, Merlin, tomorrow, without without telling anybody. Yeah, sure, people will be fucking pissed. Would they quit? Maybe the free-to-plays will, maybe. But are the whales going to quit? Not really, because it doesn't really make sense to quit a game over one servant uh, when they've probably spent thousands of dollars on the game as a whole. They nerfed only one servant, woohoo. But they haven't touched any of the others yet. Maybe, maybe what that'll do is that'll set a precedent where, oh, now they nerfed one servant, maybe they'll nerf the others. But if DW never nerfs any of the others, then people are like, oh, they only nerfed Merlin. After like maybe a couple of months when, uh, or maybe after a year when they realize, well, I guess DW hasn't really nerfed anybody else. People with things will go back to normal, and people will be like, be like "Oh yeah, Merlin used to be super pro broken back in the day." Haha, <laughs> and we'll have a whole, we'll all have a uh, have a good laugh about it. <clears throat> I'm sure some of you guys disagree, which that's fine, but. Nerfs just shaft uh, free to play players the most. I don't think you should be thinking about it that way, my dude. Don't think of it that way. Don't think of it that way. There, I'll use the uh, I'll use the uh, the fighting game community as as a big example. I'm I I'm big into uh watching street a, a, a competitive Street Fighter, for example. I watch a lot of uh, a lot of um, Street Fighter uh, tournaments. Uh. For, uh, there's even a uh, uh, final round is coming uh, not this weekend but next weekend so I'm gonna be tuning into that and watching over the weekend um, in the fighting game community especially with the uh, Street Fighter 5 um, a lot of people like to complain about oh you know oh if their character gets a nerf they they complain oh my character got nerfed whatever am I gonna do <clears throat> Oh no, Cammy got Cammy got nerfed. We can't use her anymore. <clears throat> oh, Rashid Rashid got uh, got nerfed. Oh my God, they cut his arms off. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I still laugh about it. And then Rashid goes on to fucking win uh, Capcom uh, Cap Cup last year. I think it was, I think Rashid won Cap Cup last year, right? Because it was Moke. I think Moke used Rashid. Yeah. That was funny. My point is, is that um, don't don't be discouraged when you when something that something potentially gets nerfed when you don't you don't even need to worry about it either because fucking <laughs> Dito's never gonna nerf anyone anyway. So this is all just theoretics that I'm talking about. But even if DW were to nerf somebody, um, you know maybe somebody really good like Merlin. Rather than complaining about, oh, you, I, the nerfs, nerfs the uh, effect of free to plays the most. Just learn how to how, learn how to work with a nerf, dude. It's not the fucking end of the world. 
you, you're telling me that you're gonna quit over you're gonna quit over one one overpowered character being nerfed or one meta meta defining character being nerfed okay that's on you buddy This is this is where uh, this is the game where I where I just sit back and laugh at people and be like, "Get good, kid!" <laughs> and uh, sit uh, sit up on on top of my ivory tower. Having came from League, uh, nerfs are no biggie. The reworks are the real uh, pain in the ass. I mean, I I hear about League all the time from my my friends who are are big uh, are big League heads or lol heads. But uh, so I can't. So I but I don't play it myself. So I can't really comment on that with certainty. But um, yeah, you can deal with nerfs. You can deal. You can definitely deal with nerfs. You can work around it. Of course, there can be times where, when uh, you know something gets nerfed so badly that uh, you know there is an actually there is a legit problem because they were over nerfed. But uh, yeah, sorry, my stream died again. Uh, my computer died again. So uh, this time it wasn't as bad. But now this definitely. I now I know for sure that I need to uh, get a new computer at some point because this. Uh, now that now that my stream my computer is dying midstream, that is a problem. So I'm gonna have to f figure out a way to scrounge together uh, enough money to uh, get a get a a better rig uh, sometime soon. <clears throat> now that this computer is almost dead. But anyways, let's try streaming at least a little bit more before my my computer fucking uh, crashes again. This game isn't really that challenging. You just run into gimmicks a lot. It's it's uh, fine. Work around it. I mean, that's what someone who has Merlin, Waver, and all the top supports in the game say. Which, if you don't, if that's all you care about, fine. That's that's fine. You're you're not wrong. But for someone like me who actually cares about learning about the games and the game's mechanics, um, you know, just relying on Waver and Merlin and all those other other guys, uh. That ain't really gonna cut it. I guess be actually be responsible and don't wail for a, a while for a computer. I mean, I could, but what's the fun in that? I smell Nox. Are you are you saying that I'm using Nox? <laughs> Cause I'm not. Noteworthy banners until CCC? Mm -hmm. Probably not. If you don't care about either of the Gudas. <sighs> what free CE should you get from uh, from the Caldea boys? Uh, maybe you could consider verse, uh, not versus, uh, teacher and I, or uh, and or hot sands. It's up to you. Look around though. 
Read up on which seeds uh, look pretty good to you, and then make your decision. Uh, speaking of whaling, are you whaling any of uh, uh, on the any of the uh, uh, the boys banners? Uh, the one with Cool Alter, and that's in like what four or five days, so it's gonna be a while. You are? I assume that's a question, but no, I'm not using Nox. Believe it or not, uh, a lot of streamers don't use Nox when they when they stream FGO. Let's see, make sure that there's nothing on my tablet. <clears throat> I'm not sure why you would think that I would take a risk uh, streaming on Nox uh, when uh, we know DW slash Anaplex doesn't like it when people uh, uh, use emulators for, for FGO. And I don't know why you would think I would risk that when I have literally tens of thousands of dollars invested into this account. But I guess now you know, right? Already at 132. I know a couple of other people were already at 134, 135. I didn't. I didn't really farm too hard the first, uh, like the first week after Shinjuku came out. Cause uh, I just wanted to take my time with the uh, with the actual story. Why do people think he's using a Nox? I don't know. Cause they watch a lot of other uh, streamers on like Twitch or something, who uh, who all use Nox apparently. How are things going? Uh, the stream died twice. So that's great. Uh, so I might be ending it soon. I don't know. I d I did I did plan on farming a lot of embers on stream, but if my if my computer is gonna die twice in a row like that, then uh, maybe a maybe I should reconsider. But uh, I'm not the best person to ask that, Groovy. I've never used an emulator, never. I've played only on my phone and my and my tablet, both of which are perfectly legitimate. I would hope. Uh, so I can't answer that. I don't really have a lot of knowledge on uh on like emulators and all that crap. So I'm not the best person to ask. You might want to ask someone else who actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to emulators. Oh boy, I can tell we're talking about um, the whole Demia controversy. Um, I would I would like to kindly ask that you leave that shit out of my chats, please. If you wanna if you wanna uh, if you wanna bitch about uh, what they did, uh, 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 if you wanna bitch about Demia, uh, go do that in some random forum elsewhere. Um, sorry, I, it's not that I don't want to talk about the topic. It's just that I know that it's gonna devolve into uh, into saying into saying Americans are fucking shitheads and they like they they're becoming North Korean shit like that. So if you don't like it, go talk about it somewhere else. I don't I don't want to have to deal with that shit in my chat. We're already degen enough talking about. Um, Talking about waifus and and pixels, I don't I don't need a uh, I don't need a uh, race uh, race flaming and uh, and uh, race flaming uh, race flaming race flaming. <laughs> so I said the same thing twice. I don't need that shit. Uh, I don't need that shit on top of everything else. Hear a lot of people like uh, Apple devices for uh, FGO. I might switch over. Uh, iOS is slightly. Your mileage may vary slightly. Uh, uh, better, better optimized, from what I hear, and also more importantly, uh, you get a lot more deals uh, more frequently for iTunes gift codes over uh, over Google Play codes. 
That's the main reason why I switched over. Because I whaled so much, I was like, well, if I'm going to whale this much, uh, I would like to uh, get in on some of these deals. Uh, so last summer, I finally uh, went out and grabbed myself a tablet. And uh, ever since then, I've been able to... Uh, uh, constantly get like you know 10% off deals, 15% off deals, maybe even 20% off deals, and they add up. So it's great. It was a great choice. Uh, I thought that was a. I I think that was a great choice. That's just a meme. Yeah, there are memes that I like and memes that I don't like. Unfortunately, that's not one I particularly enjoy. <clears throat> because uh it's all too easy to get it to uh get baited into a uh race flaming so sorry not gonna allow that um apple tablets are way faster and stable than an android tablet huh I figured tablets would be pretty uniform performance across the board, but I guess uh, I guess uh, even tablets uh, have like a uh, a clear dichotomy in uh, performance. Then, huh? where you find these deals? I have somebody, uh, I have somebody who uh, um, who's actually is on my friend list uh, who uh, runs a business. Uh, I don't I don't know if I don't know if he wants me to share details, but basically, uh, he has a thing going on with uh, I believe Amazon or something where uh, he can he can basically buy uh, iTunes codes for like ten percent off, um, and he passes that deal uh, towards uh, towards uh, his friends who want to buy uh, codes from him. So what he does he, is he uh, we we talk to him and be like, hey, can you get me like you know like three codes or something? He's like, yeah, sure. And he'll buy them, and he he uh he'll send it to us, and we pay him uh we pay him with a ten percent off, either that or we I go on to like maybe slick deals, uh and keep an eye on like uh, any pot potential iTunes gift card deals, like maybe eBay might have one, uh where you can buy co iTunes codes up to three per account for fifteen dollars off for per one hundred dollar code, and slick deals will have it listed uh soon after go the the deal goes live so you can go over to eBay cash in on that uh maybe Costco has um Costco always sells hundred dollar hundred dollar iTunes gift codes for at least five percent off but they sometimes have sales where uh they increase it to like uh fifteen percent off or maybe sometimes even twenty percent off uh, that they they did the twenty percent off back uh last uh Black Friday and uh I cashed in hard on that so It's just knowing where to look and uh, having access to the right, uh, right resources. Obviously, some of those resources are harder to find than others, but uh, better better to have options than no options like fucking Google. Are there the same sort of sales for Google Play cards? No, which is why I switched. In all the in the year and a half that I played uh, FGO on my uh, or yeah. Pretty much a year, a full year of me playing uh, FG on my phone, which is a, a Samsung Galaxy S8, which is Android. I only ever found one deal, and that was the first year that I played within like the first couple of months. So uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why I switched. Cause good luck finding Google Play deals. You just ordered a pre uh, pre ordered a Galaxy uh, S10. I mean, I, I guess that's just how it is. That being said, I if uh, for if you live in certain states, you do have to deal with a uh, Apple tax. But I live in California; we don't have to pay Apple tax, so I don't have to worry about that shit ever. Is it true we might get some animation updates earlier? Uh, personally, Fubuki, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Because if that were the case, they would have been giving us uh, <clears throat> animation updates earlier as well. Because uh, they gave us they gave us a lot of animation updates early from the beginning of the game. For example, John, Vlad, uh, uh, Archer, Emia, the quote unquote vanilla one. Um, who else? Waver, Nero. So we started the game with a lot of uh, server animations already updated. 
And then they gave us another one that updated Salters, Coups, uh, Medusas, and uh, Medias. But ever since then, we haven't had another animation update until uh, Artemis, or Orion, I guess. And we only barely got her anima uh, animation update with Last Moonfest. So what that tells me is that from now, ever since a long time ago, DW already had in mind where they wouldn't give us any more, um, uh, they wouldn't give us any more updated animations early, uh, to us early. So that's just my personal theory. I think from here on out, uh, we're on regular JP pace, where we will get all the animation updates basically at the same at the same time frame that uh, who is it that uh, JP got. Still waiting for Nero Brides updated. Well, uh, she'll get them with CCC, so that's good. Mordred animation up there, you're gonna probably have to wait another year for that. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can level up uh, Yanqing now, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, this song is kind of loud. Favorite server in FGO, Taomo. Uh, I'll keep the Berserker cards because I know Hijikai is going to be here uh, at some point. In other words, very soon. Let's see, I don't think we're getting any Lancers uh, lately, so. Eh, might as well just keep using the Assassin cards. I have a theory that those any early animation updates is because then I started with the not shit build of the game, which had those built in. I mean, I guess, but I'm hesitant to talk about like build stuff because I am not a programmer, I'm not a coder. I've never worked on uh, things like that, so uh, I feel like if I start talking about that, that that'll just make me look like a fucking idiot to those who do. So maybe, and that's a very, I guess that's a that's a logical conclusion to come to. But uh, we're never gonna know what actually goes on behind the scenes when it comes to like uh, the hard the the software of this game. So I'm just gonna go off with what we know, and what we do know is that we did get animation updates early, some of them anyway. Which servants to level for Agartha? Uh, well, besides the obvious ones like Waver and fucking Merlin, uh, if, if you don't have the level, uh, if you don't have either of them to level ninety somehow, uh, I don't know. I don't know a whole much about a whole lot about Agartha to be honest. I guess just look through the main quest and see what what kinds of uh, enemies that you mainly have to deal with. And just go with that. Oh, I actually got a super suck off that. I don't know why you feel the need to capitalize every word in your sentence, Power Mega, but uh, Melt. Maybe like MP2, MP3, maybe. 
Drake, Radev, Okeanos, or Agartha. Uh, if you want to roll for Drake specifically, then just wait until Agartha Part 2. Is it worth a save for Shimosa? If you like any of the servants there, sure, yeah, why not? So let me blow this up, yeah. Go back to uh, servants, and then Yanching is down here. Hey Nightmare, what's going on, man? You're catching me at the uh, the tail end of uh, of the stream. Let's see, what time is it? It's like 10:30. Uh, I guess we'll do one more uh, one more embers run, cause uh, I have a feeling my computer is gonna die again at some, uh, in the like within like within the hour. So we're going to we're probably gonna do one more run and then we're gonna call it. Extended fights against the uh, Zerks. All right, good to know. So strong defensive servants. All right, everybody, level your level your Jeans, or prepare to uh go go out there and grab friends who have uh, very strong Jeans. Back then, I started with a later build, but not the latest. Well, yeah, naturally, that would it wouldn't make any. I know I when people talked about like oh what build of the game we started with. I I remember talking about about it uh, briefly like some time ago where uh, um, you know they started off started us off with like a later build of the game, but not too far because we didn't have uh we didn't have uh who was it. Cool. We didn't have Ku's animations. We didn't have Salter's animations. We have. We didn't have uh, Medusa's or Medias, so it wasn't that far. But even still, uh, I, so I've been more thinking that we've been getting our own unique builds, to be honest, because we've gotten. The reason why I think that is because it's not because of the animation updates, but it's more because of the quality of life changes that we've been. That we've gotten early. We've gotten things like the extra uh, support slot. When you go to your support, uh, when you go to your support lineup, uh, we have we they gave us the extra slot a full year early. We were supposed to get it with Agartha because that's when it came up for JP apparently, according to the wiki. But we got it last year, like all like sometime after uh, the Da Vinci event, which is fucking mind blowing. We got. Uh, we got fast death and uh, quality of life, where everybody dies faster, um, and we got the uh, the the end game screen that pops up, going coming up and going away faster. Um, we got a ton of quality of life changes that we got early. So something tells me that that that's what tells me that we're probably on our own unique builds, and we're not exactly going off of of uh, JPs. That's my take on it. I think we have our own unique. Uh, Unique uh, builds that were that JP slash Anaplex is preparing specifically and making specifically for NA. David David is insanely good. Yes, great. Uh, he uh, David is a great defensive uh, archer. Yeah. JP have one more extra slot? No, no. Right now we have. Uh, NA has uh, JP's updated uh, support setup list with the, with the one that looks like right there. Before the old uh, support lineup, it didn't have this one right here. It didn't have the extra uh, slot, the one on the far right. It didn't have that, so you wouldn't see be able to see Jaltra on, on the very right there. Instead, it, the the old support lineup used to look like uh, you, you didn't you didn't have Jaltra, and then this white board that you had or the white background you had. I think it was black it was it, it wasn't white it was it was a darker color i think so yeah it, it didn't used to look like this definitely not this support lineup we should have had it we should have gotten it uh with agartha later on this year we weren't supposed to have this so early but yet 
somehow we do, so. As a coder, well, okay then. <laughs> then you should know much more about this subject than I, than I do. So whatever I'm saying, probably, probably you don't need to give two shits about. Imagine how strange FGO jargon must sound to regular folks. Yeah, but that's with every game that has jargon. I I hang out with uh, I hang out in um, or I've hung out in like uh, League of Legends streams, and I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. So, when are we getting back? Button probably sooner than you think. All right, DJ Max, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I'm probably going to call it right here, too. Um, anything that has jargon in general, exactly. <clears throat> jargon is called jargon for a reason. Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it there. Uh, my, like I said, my PC's already died twice tonight, so fucking uh, who knows if it'll crash again. So I'm going to call it right there, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I want to I wanna host either either Ludes or, uh, or uh, Slash. Uh, but I don't know who to pick. I, I wish, I kind of wish I could raid both of them at the same time, but I know I can't do that. Uh, I've been hanging out in, uh, Slash's chat for a little bit here, so, um, I'm gonna go raid him. However, if you want to see gotcha memes and gotcha salt, then go, ch go hit up Ludes. Uh, let's see, let me, let me do this. I think, I know, I think I will, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna raid Slash. I'm gonna rate him, but I'll also, uh, but I'll also uh, link Ludes' stream and uh, and chat, so if y'all y'all can take your pick. So this guy's streaming uh, uh, CCC polls. He he was pulling on Caldea Boys a little bit earlier, so go check him out if you want gotcha memes. Uh, otherwise, go hit up uh, Slash because uh, I'll be hosting him. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry that I'm uh, sorry that I'm cutting it off a little bit early, but. Uh, please understand, my PC is currently in the middle of dying. Guess he'll just it'll just go die now. Uh, so, getting another PC is uh, getting a better PC that won't die is probably um, yeah, probably probably in the question now. So, thanks for stopping by, guys, and uh, hope you have a rest, a rest of your night. I will be streaming again on uh, the the Ku Alter and Proto Arthur shared rate up banner. So, if you want to come by and uh, stop by for uh, to watch for that, or watch that, then by all means. In any case, uh, have a good night, and see y'all later.